and I'll even go back to. So the account format um, takes the balance sheet. So we got a balance sheet. Okay. We break it up on, to the left and the right hand side. So assets are listed on the left with total on the bottom. And then on the right hand side, first we list our liabilities with a total. So, and that total is just we add up all of the accounting, uh, sorry, the account liability account balances in that category for the total liability balance. Okay, and then we list all of our equity accounts like that, and give another total, and then we list our total liabilities plus equity. So we're just taking the total from here. And here, we're adding them, and then putting the total down here. Once we've done that, again, because assets must equal liabilities plus equity, these two should equal. And that is the account format of a, of a balance sheet. Again, the main difference between uh, the report format and the account format is the account format presents the assets on the left and the liabilities and equity on the right. Okay. Um, in fact, from what I've been exposed to, this is normally what you look at. You usually look at the left, is your assets. On the right hand side, it's your liabilities and your equity. The next example or the next kind is a report format opposed to uh, showing your assets and liabilities on two different sides, we're just creating a list. So we mention our assets first, our liability second, and then our equity at the bottom in a list format. So one after another. This is also called a vertical balance sheet. So it would look like this. You have your assets first with your total assets after you've listed all of them. You would then have your liabilities. You'd list all of them and then take a total. You would list all your equity accounts. List all of them, take a total. And then just like um, on the account format, on the right hand side, we, we calculate the total amount of liabilities and total equity. We add them together. We do the same thing here. So on the very bottom, we would have total liability and equity. Because our assets must equal our liabilities uh, plus our equity, our total assets should equal our total liabilities and our equity. One thing you will notice is that if you've gone through that worksheet that we've been going through, right? So you, if you've done journalizing, ledgering, adjusting, closing your entries, or sorry, closing um, your closing entries, um, and you've gone to creating statements, <coughs> our trial balances help, like the, the first one and the second one, help us make sure that we've conformed to the rules of debits and credits. The only reason why your balance sheet won't balance is if you've posted to incorrect accounts. Your balance sheet, uh, sorry, your, your trial balance may very well balance, but if you posted to the wrong accounts, your balance sheet won't balance. Bum, bum, bum. And then lastly, we have what we call a classified balance sheet. This kind of balance sheet can be presented in either report format or account format. The only thing that is required to be a count, uh, classified balance sheet is that we break up assets, liabilities, and equity into specific subgroups. So on a classified balance sheet, 
we're gonna we're gonna show how it would be constructed in um, what is it called uh, an account format. So side by side. First, what we would have is called our current assets. Okay, I'll give you a definition for that later. Okay, we have our current assets. We list those first. We then have your non-current assets. Those are listed second. And then you list your total assets. Or sorry, you calculate your total assets. On the right-hand side, where we show our liabilities and our equity, break up our liabilities first. So we list our liabilities. The first category of liabilities that we'll list are called current liabilities. We then list our uh, non-current liabilities or long-term liabilities. Non-current liabilities or long-term liabilities. Usually people make reference to that as long-term, long-term liabilities. And then we, we list our equity. And after we've done all that, again, our total liabilities plus equity. And these two should equal. The classified statement is much more useful to us because it shows us different things. Because category of current assets, current liabilities, non-current assets, long-term liabilities have different implications. And I'll show you that in just a second. I'm going to stop recording.